there seems to be this desperate thirst in the black community, urban community, however you want to phrase it. But there seems to be this desperate yearn for a black hero. You know, we looking for this Messiah. We're looking for a black leader to rise up out of the community. They're not going to be no revolutionaries that's going to come out of Cat Williams comments. So they know how to control you. That's why they call it control opposition. So they can control how far you go. You need money to work. So you're not willing to risk that check at work. Cat Williams, let Cat Williams speak for you. Just, just going on to work. Going back, going on to your nine to five. Keep enjoying the foods that we give you. Keep enjoying the phones that the cell phones and the technology that we give you. We got everything for you, everything that you need. You got your reality TV shows, Baddies East, Baddies West, Love and Hip Hop. So you can watch other black women promote that culture, self-destruct. You're not going to have any more shows about black couples no more. Black families. You got the Krishan Rocks. You got your blue face. The missing tooth girl. Your young daughters idolize. They're the little girls of the future who will be self-destructing. Going around causing all this chaos. Vandalizing. Putting period blood all over, all over young boys' windows. Insane in the head. Don't worry about it. Let Cat Williams keep speaking for you. We give you the sports, the NFL, soccer, basketball. We'll give you everything that you like. And then every now and then, we'll let you get outraged by an unarmed black man being killed by a cop. We're going to keep your little kids in the house, playing the video games, not going outside, and let them keep getting caught into these agendas. Keep enjoying the cars, and we keep you warm. The apartment. The house you're living in, the music, we supply you with all those things. So keep letting Cat Williams speak for you. And then when we take Cat Williams off the world stage, then what? You'll have people mourning, crying. But then guess what? We cut the head off the snake. And you're not going to do nothing but go back to keep going to work and sitting on your couch. There isn't going to be no revolution. There isn't going to be no movement, no organizations. We're just going to keep y'all right where y'all at from the couch supporting Cat Williams. And then we take the head off the snake and then we'll create another martyr. They feel like Cat Williams is going to speak up for us. We feel like Lil Boosie is going to speak up for us. But that's all they're doing is just talking. Nothing is going to come out of it. Which is why they give you these characters. So you can follow behind them and you can root for them, but you're doing it from the confines of your own home, sitting on the phone on the things that they give you. So to keep a Black Panther movement, another form of a Black Panther movement, men and the women coming together, the black men and women coming together and rising from this and going against the very same system that we oppose. They know how to control us. They just give us somebody. They prop somebody up like a Cat Williams. Go out and speak this so-called truth. And you're like, yeah, man, he's speaking that real, bro. He's speaking that real. Then tomorrow, Bernice Burgos make a post. Looking fine, looking sexy. He'll talk about something else. That's how we could control the niggers. We'll give them a new Beyonce, a new Beyonce viral post tomorrow. Another country will get attacked. They don't care nothing about it. The little girl's gone missing. All this stuff is happening. Blacks killing blacks. Barack Obama releases his 2024 playlist. They'll forget about it. What is going on with Diddy? How does that affect you? When there are little girls being taken advantage around you every single day. What is Diddy going down has to do with you? Look at how much we are distracted. That can stand up and speak the so-called truth for the black people. And I know many people don't want to accept it, but Cat Williams also is a plant. 
He's an agent and he's working for the very same people that he goes against. We seem to be looking for this savior so bad. I'm saying nothing but especially black people on my timeline, maybe Facebook, maybe Instagram. They were so taken away by Cat Williams. They seem to believe that Cat Williams is just so real, right? But that's how counterintelligence work. And I just want y'all to hear me out. This is how control opposition work at its finest. They know that most black people, everybody's not doing nothing but sharing a post of Cat Williams. They know that there is no movements going to come out of Cat Williams comments. He's not going to bring all the black people together. They could have got rid of Cat Williams years ago, bruh. You got to play that game. He wouldn't be on no club Shay Shay had he not been down with the boule. Why are you even still going to these parties? As he mentioned in one of his new stand-ups, he say he likes to go to the parties and then bring the information back to the people. You know, Nipsey Hussle stated in the interview that they're basically the spook who sat by the door. There's literally no way that Cat Williams will have so many dark secrets, so many skeletons about these rich billionaires and this so-called secret society and be able to spread this information without him being smoked. They would have got Cat Williams back when he did the first Pimp Chronicles. But what they do is they, <clears throat> they utilize puppets like Cat Williams and it gradually normalized certain rituals and lifestyles that they do behind the scenes in Hollywood. People still is running with this, still running with this fairy tale. They still running with this sell your soul Illuminati bullcrap. I was once stuck into that maze at one particular time. But then I started to look around. They said that. Women got to sleep around and they got to, you know, have these sex parties and, you know, women have to literally give themselves up, be sex slaves and so on and so forth. In order to get ahead in the music industry or the entertainment business, but look around you. Women every day have only fans exposing their bodies to the world sleeping around on only fans making hundreds of thousands of dollars it's an illusion it's a distraction y'all so focused on the so-called illuminati the world around us right now is evil the demonic music everything is carrying over in real life it's all a distraction. Selling your soul. These people are selling their souls every single day. If we're going according to the Bible, Leviticus 18 states that, and I'm just paraphrasing because I don't have the direct quote in front of me, but it states that basically a man and a woman who have sex without marriage is basically like punishable by death. So men and women are supposed to be sleeping with each other without being married. Somewhere in the Bible, it also states that the man should not lust after a woman that's not his woman. So every single day, we're constantly sinning and sinning, listening to rap culture, listening to, listening to gangster rap, listening to trap music. Everybody's constantly going against the Bible in some way some form of fashion black people you're getting played there are no revolutionaries subconsciously they know that the average person wants to live vicariously through these celebrities so they're going to live vicariously through cat williams because they know that none of us are going to go out here and be foot soldiers 
and go and buck against the system. They know that you're too scared to do that because the system is too good to you. You're not going to do anything and they know it. All you're going to do is say, yeah, I agree with Cat Williams. He's, he's, he's speaking that real. If I send this picture to you, then just know that I'm not tolerating nothing this year. What does Cat Williams interview do for you? What does it do for you? Make it make sense, bro. He's an industry plant. He's still getting movies. He's still working with Netflix. Nobody's going to have these secrets and be able to spread these secrets and still be alive to tell the story if it was really a secret. Come on, man. Y'all got to wake up. The system treats you all too good. You're their slave. They give you jobs. They give you money to feed your family. They cook your food for you. They give you internet. They give you TikTok. They give you Instagram. All right. Let's say everything that Cat Williams says is true about the industry. Everything is true. The gay parties, women being lesbians, that's happening every day. This is happening all around us every day. Men being feminized, look around you. They talk about the men in the industry being feminized. Look at look at what's going on around you, ladies and gentlemen. Women are still talking to dudes wearing man bags and, and purses, dyeing their hair blonde, and guys all around you are painting their nails. Wake up. There is no, the Illuminati is an illusion. It's a fairy tale you've been lied to. You see in pansexuality, look around you, bro. This stuff is going on every day. Women being with other women, that became a thing by Nicki Minaj. Hence why her name is Minaj, Minaj A Trios. Like y'all gotta wake up, bro. They romanticize these lifestyles. Women on women, men on men, all this stuff is being perpetuated and being all this stuff is being pushed by the industry. And it's spilling over into culture and unknowingly, you so busy, oh man, Cat Williams is speaking the real. They put it on the shade room for you to see. People on the shade room, they want for you to see it. TikTok put out, they put out a post that said they have the power to make anything go viral. Anything go viral. Literally, if they don't want you to see something, they can shut the internet off anytime they like. He's still speaking the truth. And what? What's going to come out of it? The so-called black race is easily deceived, easily manipulated. Cat Williams is a false prophet. And Many, many of us look at things, we view things on a surface level. A lot of us are deep thinkers. We so busy focus on what's going on in the shade room. A lot of these characters are just clones. Cat Williams is a clone. Him and Charleston White, they one and the same. They plan on y'all intelligence. Right? We so... Worried about the Weinsteins. Why, why, is, why is Cat Williams so fixated on the industry? Leave the industry alone. Why do you care so much about the industry? You're, you're still having dealings with the industry. You're sitting down having a sit down interview with someone in the industry. You still align yourself. You're still doing interviews. With women and people from the industry. But the one thing that's not being talked about. We're not talking about how they're using female rappers. To hypersexualize little girls. When was the last time you've been on your Instagram story search? It's little girls up there. Small booty shorts on. Showing their butt cheeks. Twerking. Little girls going missing at a very high rate. Little girls being sex trafficked at a very, at an extremely high rate. What are we talking about Steve Harvey for? 
Y'all not making it make sense. Why do we care about Cedric the Entertainer stealing the damn joke from Cat Williams? Harvey Weinstein doing all these sexual things to Cat Williams. See, everybody want to keep it real. But the moment somebody keep it real with them, now people want to fight. Now people want to get upset. Now people want to cancel you. People can't handle the truth. They can dish it, but they can't take it. And everybody is excited. Well, Cat Williams got 10 million views. He's a false prophet. They masculinizing all the women. Women are becoming more masculine. There are young girls creating OnlyFans. Where are these programs that's helping these two-parent households to help these young daughters who ain't got no fathers? Y'all so hyped about a Cat Williams interview that got 10 million views. What does that do for you? You excited about a meme? It's a world lost, bruh.